all my life I had to fight like Sophia Right my wrongs in this world that's full of evil Most of the faith Hey you guys and welcome back to part 2 on who's this new person Who's this new person that's all up on you making you smile, making you laugh Okay, everyone's at the Empress. When are you going to come out with part two? Where is part two? I kept getting Where is part two? Where is part two? Where is part two? So let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, so we got a hood celebrity walking trophy. I can take you to LA. We go shopping for a day. I'm spending it all on you, girl. Spending it all on you anyway. Dance hall vibes, close the all of the night. My crib close by. We could... We go, we could like, hood girl, tell me it's a go for tonight. Baby girl, you got that, the glow in the light. So somebody definitely trying to spoil you. That was the energy, like spoiling energy. We got that already in the previous reading, you know, like that type of energy. I'm saying boys to men, end of the road. Girl, you know we belong together. I don't have no time for you to be playing with my heart like this. You'll be mine forever, baby. You just wait. We belong together. And you know that I'm right. Why do you play with my heart? Why do you play with my mind? So, yeah. Someone is pleading for things to be official. Like, official. It's official. We go to the other real bad. We got something going here. I don't want it to stop. I don't want it to ever end. Baby, you got me type of energy. Like, just, just ride with me or just roll with me. You know what I'm saying? That's the energy that I'm that I'm getting, you know. And I'm also hearing, come on and go with me. Come on over to my place. That song. Let's see what else is here though. And my eyes itching. Some of you guys that could be something this person wants to show you. Something this person wants to show you. Yeah, it's like you tempering this person. Like, you you guys are not doing much. You guys are just laid back. You guys are just enjoying going with the flow. And it's like you guys are not anxious. You guys are not worried. Um, this person is very charming. They look very good. A lot of you guys, this person could be a little younger than y'all. Or it's like they have a little younger crowd that this person hang with. Or it's like when they go out, it's a lot. They get a lot of attention. It's like they got that real youthful vibe. But y'all are, it's like... Other people will be falling all over this person, and you like, baby, you look good and all, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't doing all that. So I'm saying there's a lot of, this person's going to let you know whatever you need to know. It's like this person's going to come clean about everything. It's like you're going to know this person, like, you've been knowing them. It's like the certain things that people may hide, it's like this person's going to be an open book. And I'm seeing Ten of Cups being upside down. So I'm seeing that there's something about, um... You guys are feeling like y'all don't want to rush into a family situation because you want, you know what I'm saying, wasted your time. It's like every time you think you in with somebody all the way, it's like, so it's like you don't want to get all excited about the connection. I'm also seeing that this person is going to hit your weak points. It's like it's going to be hard not to be attracted to this person. But it's like in the back of your mind, you're going to always remember, you know what I'm saying, and I'm saying this person wants to, like, they want to have memories with you, make memories with you. They want to see new things with you. But right now, a lot of you guys are searching y'all soul, y'all finding yourself. Like, y'all not want to rush because you want to make sure that this is the right decision. It's like, if you're going to be go in this time, you want to make sure that this person is going to be working hard like you. You want memories of both of y'all being together, working hard towards a connection. You want memories of y'all cupcaking on the phone. Memories of forward movement, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying you've been through enough heartache, enough destruction. It's like, but this person is going to be putting all their chips on the table. Some of you guys, this person, they look foolish doing this because this person has never done this for anyone else. It's like this person wants to wants to grow with you. So a lot of you guys, this person is going to be feeling like they got to apologize for what someone else did. Some of you guys, this could also be someone that once hurt your heart or once broke your heart before. And it's like they are taking strong moves towards you. It's like I'm seeing strong steps. Like march, cookie, march. Like they marching. You know what I'm saying? And this person is going to be bringing in so much stability too. This person is someone that wants to take care. Look at this. They want to 
they want to do, they want to make sure that you are taken care of when it comes to the bills wise and the home. This person is also going to be defensive over this connection. And this person is going to be more than understanding to the fact that you don't want to rush into anything this quick. You know what I'm saying? And get your feathers ruffled up, you know, in a bunch. And, you know, and it don't go as planned. So, I'm seeing there's a lot of love. I just want to say all, like, that type of energy. Like, all. Let's see what else is here. Let's see what else is here. So I'm saying sexual healing here. So this person, they get a sexual type of vibe when they are around you. It's like something about you kills them. Something about your love, your energy. That's why they want to explore these sceneries with you. And it's like the love language that they have towards you and for you. It's like it's going to show you that your self-love is working. Or they, it's, that this person is going to show you why they love you so much. Like your qualities, your good qualities in you. Boosting you up. Some of you guys, yeah, this, some of you guys, this is someone that you stop talking to, like having disarm feelings. And I'm seeing this person is, they have butterflies. So some of you guys, y'all may be going, this may be a new person and y'all getting into it with this person. It's like, it's annoying that this person keeps trying to pursue you after you telling them or right, trying to push them back. So some of y'all could get a little annoyed with this person when y'all meet this new person. Or right, they could be all up on you and you could not be used to that. But I'm saying pay attention to songs. Something about lyrics, and I'm seeing there's going to be a lot of exciting news coming in about this person, and I'm seeing, look at this. Yeah, this is someone y'all could have broke up from, or y'all going to be breaking up from when y'all get with this person. It's like I'm seeing a breakup. But main attraction is here. You are the main person. It's like you the star of show. You, you take the show in this person's life. And I'm saying watch out because there will be jealous jealousy towards this connection because, of course, look how good this connection was coming out. You know what I'm saying? But this person is ready for love. They don't want to miss a chance with you. They thought it over. They thought it through. They do not want to miss any chances with you. They do not want to, you know, fumble the ball or, or, leave you, or leave you alone. Not right now. And I'm saying y'all spend a lot of quality time with this person, a lot of quality time, one-on-one -on -one sessions. Just be patient with them. They're going to move towards the connection and start, you just like, they're going to start opening up, telling you how they feel emotionally. It's like they're going to let you in. And I'm seeing from there is going to be an enchanted love. It's like it's going to be sacred. It's a sacred bond between y'all. It's like you go going to know this person spiritually. And I'm also seeing they're going to hold themselves accountable for whatever it is that they did. Now, they do have some inner fears. You know what I'm saying? They do have inner fears just as much as you do. So I'm seeing they kind of got scared. They could have made a move based off of scared, like being scared, being, you know what I'm saying? Man, just put in that situation, like, oh, my God, like, I'm in real love with someone, and now, boom, it's like, they take, they think that I'm, that I'm playing, you know what I'm saying? So, it's like, it's, they taking notes, it's a lesson learned, it's definitely a lesson learned. Let's see what else is here. Yeah, this connection is more than just you and them loving each other. This connection is, is that's why it's a sacred bond. That's this why this is going to be an eternal love type of connection. You and this person is going to make it through the rain and the pain. And I'm seeing y'all loving on each other in the midst of it. So it's like you and this person going to go through it together. But it's like they feel like you got that type of sex weed. Like that, that chemistry, that temptress came out. Like the energy you give off to this person, it's like they can't get enough of you. I can't get enough of your love, babe. Huh. Every day is a holiday when they with you. It's like you, you pick their spirit up. You make them feel like a king or a queen should feel. It's like you give them a type of feeling that they never felt a day in their life before like this. And I'm saying um, they're your counterpart. They're your better half. They're, they're that person. They, they, yeah, they him or they her. And I'm saying they fragile. They fragile. They've been hurt too. But it's like they don't mind, you know what I'm saying, submitting. It's like they you give off an energy that makes them want to submit to you. You know what I'm saying? Willingly. And I'm saying look at this quality time here. Again, quality time came out twice. Positive vibes. This person is going to be here no matter what. You can count on this person. 
no matter what, they're going to be around. I'm seeing, have you ever tried sleeping with a broken heart? So this person, heart has, like I said, they, they went through it. They went through it. This person is going to uh, reassure you a lot of things. I'm seeing some of you guys have a soulmate in the spiritual realm or have someone that you were dating before that you was close to passed away. And I'm seeing age ain't nothing but a number between you and this person. So there could be an age gap or an age difference. But it's like you take this person breath away. It's like now that they thought that's what I'm saying, you may be annoyed that they all up on you like this because they like, I found you. I don't want to let you go. It's like they holding on to you for dear life. Like I'm not letting go. And I'm saying we both was blindly guided to each other. So y'all didn't know that y'all was going to run into this person or meet this person. It's something that just happened. And I'm saying you are you are the lady. They feel like you are the person that they want to continue living their life for. You, They want you to be something that inspires them to get up and do more and do better. And I'm saying talk to me. Let me know what's wrong. So this person wants to talk. This person wants to talk about everything that y'all didn't talk about. And we are royal, remember that. And I wouldn't trade our family for nothing in the world. We've been getting a biracial relationship. Like, either y'all dating somebody out y'all race or there is a color, a definitely a color thing. Because we've been getting it out a lot. But this person is like, we we together. We Like, you, me, we for, we for each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, you see me, you see her. You see her, you see me type of energy. And it's like, if... If you got a problem with her, you got a problem with me. So it's like this person is going to be real defensive over y'all connection. It's like they ain't going to let nobody play with you. So let's see what else is here. Let's see what else is here. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For this is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. So for some of you guys, the universe is definitely telling you guys, don't make a decision based off of what someone done or what someone didn't do or any type of guilt or feeling that you have to have this person or you have to decide to be with this person because of them making you feel a certain type of way. If, like, if you want to be with this person, be with this person because you want to be with them. And I'm saying reflection is here. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. So you and this person is a reflection of each other. So if you start panicking about this breakup, this person will start panicking. And if you just let it let it flow like that, let it flow, this you, this person will let it flow. So it won't be no arguing now back and forth because it takes two to tangle. So if you're showing this person that, hey, I don't want to fuss, I don't want to argue, I don't want to, I just want to just rest. I just want to let everything just flow. This person is going to do the same. A lot of you guys, like I said, y'all, this is going to be like the end of the road with an old connection and somebody changed their mind. Or this is going to be someone that you get in a connection with and there's going to be a breakup between you and this person. And it says the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. So there's a, there's a new direction, new sense of direction. So that's why a new perspective came out. So you can look at this connection different and, and feel the connection from a different type of level. Um, let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims it simply allows and gives. So somebody could have been suffocating somebody in a connection. Either you got annoyed with this person because they were suffocating you or the other person felt like he was suffocating them, but somebody was suffocating somebody. And it says, wait, don't rush into it. Allow, allow nature to take its course. So take y'all time. Like I said, reflect on everything. Take y'all time. Y'all don't have to rush. Only time will tell. Just be patient. Sit back and watch what this person do. And I'm seeing my beloved, though, we, we may be spiritually apart, physically apart. Spiritually, we are always united. For love transcends, transcends in space and time. Nothing is missed. So some of you guys, yeah, y'all definitely had a lover hmm, passed away. Or a lover that is like... I really feel like this is for a selective few. Like, y'all was with somebody, and this person passed away, and this is like, this still your beloved person. You still think about this person. Every time when a connection don't work, or you meet somebody, like, well, they ain't nothing like this person. Or they don't act nothing like that person, you know? So it's like somebody set the bars, the bars high when it comes to your love level, the way you love, your love language, okay? It's like you expecting, you know what I'm saying? So just be patient with yourself. For those that did just lose someone and... It's kind of hard moving forward. Be patient with yourself, okay?
So thank you guys for tuning in for part two. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell for more. And I saw 1444 on a timer, okay? Thank you guys.